The Mississippi crashes against a 40-foot flood wall, but the Janituses are staying put. You know, we're good for a month, if not more. Our freezers are stocked. The only road to their home is now 10 feet underwater. And I said, this is your last chance. I said, then I'm driving across that bridge and we're not going out. But Adolph did not want to leave. My husband's become, I think, more of a southerner than I have. <laughs> so he doesn't want to lose, lose his home. He doesn't want to give up his home. Their 13 and a half year old dog, Nugget, is staying too. I have to take him out every day to walk a little bit around the yard. But that's one reason you didn't want to leave. Right. But they are getting help from their neighbors. They pull together. You know, um, friends are calling and checking on us every day. Entire neighborhoods are underwater here in South Vicksburg, where the Mississippi already crested and more than 14 feet above flood level. And these waters won't even start to recede until this weekend. I love that house. It was special. But it will be again, you know, we'll have another house and we'll make it special. Debbie Emery has lost her new home. Good job. So now this grandmother has had to move in with her pregnant daughter. He's due in July. Taking over what would have been the new baby's room. Thousands have been displaced in Mississippi and Louisiana by the record floods. Yes, we're going to all be fine. Right. Like many, relying on each other we're to get through this crisis. Karen Brown, CBS News, South Vicksburg, Mississippi.